today we'll be exploring this mysterious abandoned house that's been left forgotten in the Canadian wilderness since 2002 with everything left behind. Not much is known the true story of this property. However, using clues, it appears that it was owned by an Indian family who owned a construction company. As you'll soon see, this is a rare case where everything truly was left behind, frozen in time, from a time period before I was even born. Something that's not too common to see these days, as most properties, after 20 years, are long redeveloped. All right, guys. We're about to check out this um, mysterious abandoned house in the woods. I have it pinned on my maps. It looked abandoned. I'm not entirely sure what this is gonna be, but I, uh, there's a big overgrown gate right here. It seems chill. We could have just driven up, but uh, there was like, it's too overgrown in the front. I'm here with Silent Hills Exploration. We got another a long... banger, another day, another banger. You already know how it is. Yeah, you already know. We got a long walk ahead of us here. It smells like horses and farms. I think this is a mansion or a house or something. Should be cool because it's got a gate. Maybe they're rich. I don't know. Judging by the lack of pavement, this has been abandoned for a very long time. Although it does look like there's car tracks, it could be from other explorers who have um, cars they can scratch up. We got a rental car, so we can't scratch it up today. So I think we're coming up on it now. Huge tree has fallen in the driveway here. Kind of excited for what we're gonna see. Gosh, this is deep in the woods. Oh, the cars up behind, bro. Oh, wow. Oh, yo. It's gorgeous, dude. Yeah. I think we should go in. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. This is um, this is a mansion I've always wanted to see. I thought this might be it. I've seen this on YouTube for years and I've always wanted to go here. It looks so sick with all the cars left. I, I had no idea it was nearby us. Um, and someone just told me, um, sent me a bunch of places and I guess this was one of them. I mean, this is so cool. I'm actually here. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. That's a Buick. I thought this would uh, be a Crown Vic here. Oh, who did that? Ah, this is an old one, 90s. Shame people vandalized it. I hear wood creaking. Look at this. General contractors, builders, renovators, general contact tractors. What does that say? Tota Khan Services. That might have been their company, I don't know. I believe a family of Indians lived here, but we're so far out, it's hard to tell. But then again, it's Canada. This is so cool, dude. These are. What's up? You see a car? I see a car right there. Where? You see those wheels? That's a that's a trailer. No, right next to that. From where I was peeing, there's like a car. Right oh, there. maybe. From the outside, it's big. It looks like a mansion, even. Yeah, it actually does look pretty big. I want to walk around here and just see what we can find. 
I can't get over these cars. I would drive every one of these. Look at this, this one's really cool. But here's the garage. What do you see? There could even be another car by those uh, those barns and stuff. Really? Or no, yeah. Oh, you're, you're not wrong. Oh, I see a pool back there too. I'm gonna check that out later. Let's kind of look in the garage here. Can I have the light? Thanks. This has been really long abandoned. But it looks like they left everything. This one, I'm, man, I'm super excited. Oh, this is just the garage, it seems. Oh, look at that. Oh, what is that? An old washing machine? Hard to see really in there. Let's keep walking the property. It's like a real feeling being here. I know, right? The vibes are great. It's so chill and all the cars are left. It's just in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I love places like this so much. I'm genuinely excited for this one. Whoa. Wow. Huh. It's been abandoned for so long, you guys. Why don't you go first? If you okay. Like. Look at that. The entire wall collapsed. These are, these are gonna be ruins in not too long a time. Oh my gosh, the basement collapsed. Holy moly. Look at that. Oh. I don't even need the flashlight, I don't think. Look at that, look at that. That's like completely preserved. And um, this is just all decayed and falling apart. Be a banger shot to like sit on that couch. Oh, I might do it. Yeah. Cool picture. Yeah. Sure. If I fall, I fall. It is what it is, right? Gee, this is crazy. This is like a nice mansion as well. Jeez, it's falling apart. Look, they left everything though. All their shoes. Streak of moss there is pretty cool too. Just going like oh yeah. Down. Gosh. We could probably end up going upstairs. It's not that bad. Might be able to. Some old wine bottles. Old Rice Krispies, guys. This has really been sitting. 2000. I think this place is sold. They don't even. Doesn't even matter if I show personal info. That's apple cider that's been in there that long. Imagine being the first person to ever find this abandoned. With everything left behind. Looks to me like they even left food in the fridge. Like this is truly like they uh, they got up and left situation. Oh wow! Oh. I'll get a good shot if I fall through. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me know. Oh, okay. So it's doable. Okay. The basement stairs have completely collapsed. What a house. Oh, and you can get up over here. It hasn't collapsed yet. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's their bedroom. 
All the drywall has fallen. I think it's safe to walk. There's their bed bath. Oh, people really trash this. Is it is it cool back there? Really cool. Really? Office and there's like old game controllers and a desk setup still there. Oh, sick. Super sick. Yeah, this has to be the, the most decayed time capsule I've ever found. And I'm still impressed. Wow, this is gonna be ruins in like maybe another five years. My gosh, I'm glad I got here. Been wanting to do this for actually years. This room has some more, has some more stuff in it. Uh, but not that much. Maybe these were guest bedrooms. That is so cool. What's up? Well, I almost fell through with the stairs. Dude, I stepped on the stairs and so like sank down. Really? Oh, whoa. Be careful, dude. It seems safe, but it's just enough. Not to the basement, but just... Easy with each step. Yeah. Part of me wants to go down to the basement, too. Holy. Yeah, that shakes when I walk there. But look, guys, I found an old family photo. And it looks like they, in fact, were Indian. Hard to tell, though. Maybe there's more family photos upstairs. So how did you walk up here? Carefully. Okay. <laughs> I have to really watch my step here. There we go. Dang, it like caved in at the best part too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> ah, shame. This is, uh, all of this uh, October 14, 2000. So two decades, exactly, pretty much. Yeah. This might truly be a time capsule from 2000. It is, yeah. People say, oh, this was like the 90s, the 80s, the whatever. But it was abandoned much more recently. But this was truly abandoned, I'd say, during the 2000s. Which is before I was even born. And him. Oh, this is sick. Did you walk through all these rooms okay? Yeah. Okay. Just be right. Oh my gosh, that's like a nice bed too. This is definitely where they slept and those other, those other rooms were the guest bedrooms. What a time capsule. You can see all their clothes are still here. There's their radio and phone still left. I mean, gosh. If only I found this a couple years ago, I would have been more intact. There's their clothes up here. There's their bathroom. I'm gonna walk around for that other room. Oh, that is sick. that that's their original desk where they worked and that shows the time period you guys this this was such a long time ago for me and I wasn't even born 
you know. Look at that. Here are all their documents and stuff. They had video games here. This would have been such a nice house back in the day too. Out in the middle of nowhere. I'm still shocked that I'm here. I didn't think this was the house. Let's see what we got here. Do we got anything? Looks, looks, this is what they they wrote. Oh. This is what they wrote all those years ago. Uh, night meeting, 97. Terrace. It, it stops here, wherever this was. It's a calendar from 97, I think. We've got some phone numbers. Two thousand one. Gotta find a more accurate date here. That ain't gonna tell me much. Oh look at this. Look at that. It might have been somebody uh that lived here. I think it's an older photo, so maybe it's one of their grandparents or something. When I'm truly interested in a place, I will actually sift through everything. That's nothing. Now the trek back down, guys. As long as I'm holding onto this railing, I won't fall. And there we go. The stairs won't be there much longer. Tell you that much. Yeah. I could definitely do that by my the railing could break. Go very slowly. Touch the ground very slowly. Even that is like bending a little bit back there. I don't know, dude. Step on the very end of the couch first, I would say. Yeah, smart idea. I'm sure a little bit of extra weight won't really matter. I'm gonna say that and it's gonna matter, I'm gonna fall, but. Yeah, very easy. Yeah, hold them railings too. Really hold them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's gonna make for an amazing photo. I wanna get one too. All right. Did it. Yeah, it could have been a month or two if we did that, then it would have not been a, a good outcome. Guys, we always make it out safe. We, uh, we're pretty careful. We kinda know the boundaries here. Oh my gosh. Bro, you knocked the whole house down, dude. Bro. Yeah, <laughs> Bro, what am I doing? Collapses, dude. dude, I literally stepped and the floor fell. Holy moly. That's a good photo. Thanks. <laughs> so, uh, my question is, so you went to the dining room. Was there anything over there? Me? With the chandelier, yeah. Um, yeah, just kitchen stuff. Nothing too interesting. I'd check it out if you didn't. Ah, uh, I don't want to go back there. More footage. Is there a way through the kitchen? I don't think There's so. There's a way over to that room through the kitchen, yeah. Oh. So you don't have to go the way I did. Okay. So apparently there's another way through here. Yep. Right, more clothes. Oh, cool. Oh, oh yeah, that is cool. Look at that, guys. They, this is st still preserved. These cups here. This wine, which hasn't been opened. 
Obviously some people move stuff, you can see the dust. Jeez, this was a long time ago, guys. Long time ago. This won't be here very much longer. I don't think I know. This is so eerie. Very quiet here. Oh, I say a few birds made a nest in the chandelier. Oh, yeah, I saw that right there. Wow, the remotes are still left. We could probably knock it down. If we kick that one wall? Yeah, if we kick that one wall, it would probably knock down. Because it's like in shambles right now. It's like twisted and stuff. Bro, the entire house might fall. Exactly, yeah. Like it's so easy for this place to just collapse. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't, boy. Just saying how like the kid is. Yeah. That would be crazy. <laughs> House demolition. House demolition, yeah. <laughs> I mean, do you really think there's anything left in the basement? I wanna check it either way, because I'm curious. But... Dude, I don't think there's any way down. Yeah, we can make a way. Alright. Yeah, like if we wanted to, we could like climb down. What are you yapping about? If you want to, we can just climb down. Climb down. To the basement, yeah. Like through there or something, but. Let's see. Let's see how bad it looks. It's not that bad. Just kind of put the feet on that second step, on the, 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 the door, the chair, and then we're done. I don't think, I don't know if there's much left in there. It's a risk reward ratio that isn't that high. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I like those ratios, so I might do it. All right, well, you can let me know what's down there. <laughs> All right. Oh, dude, here's the car keys. Actually? Oh, shoot. Maybe. Oh. Uh -huh. That would sick, though. Trouble. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've decided to walk more around the property. So I'm absolutely fascinated by this one. It's so, it's so darn quiet. It's like, it's like I've gone back in time here. Like, this is the closest we'll ever get to time traveling, I believe, is what I do. This is why I like doing it. It's like, literally time traveling. I might make a video on that. Oh my gosh, there's a tree growing out of that pool. Wow. You guys are seeing what I see. So if your pole sits for long enough, it'll completely start to cave in as well. Diving board. Dude, what are you doing? Dude, don't. Don't, don't. I would not stand on the roof, bro. Actually, I... I command you not to stand on the roof, dude. That's not a good idea. <laughs> I mean, that's fine standing on that metal thing, but I'd stay away from the roof. Jeez, that's falling apart. That's wild. This is um, a little bit around here. Gosh, I don't know what happened here. This is truly absurd. There's a bunch of debris out here too. Bruh. Dude, I thought you fell. <laughs> I thought you fell. 
Like there's some things that are decently okay to do. And there's some things that you shouldn't be doing at all. What we've done is something that's decently okay to do. Some things you shouldn't do. Look at this, guys. They even left their tractor behind. Wow, it's just sitting here. Undisturbed. I bet we can make it run, guys. If only, if only I lived in Canada. Maybe I'll buy a house up here. What do you got there? A wood chipper, I think. These were either the dog kennels or a chicken coop. They were mechanically inclined too. Look at that top end. Ford 5.8 EFI. These were maybe for horses. We, it looks like we got horse stables back here. Yeah, nothing. Nothing in here. You can see where Silent Hills is. There's a, a boat actually left behind. And there's a big shed. I'm curious on what we'll find in there. What do you see? You know, it's a uh, boat and uh, some other little things, but I'm just enjoying being here, you know? Yeah. It's super sick. We don't have to worry or nothing. Yeah, I love it. These are the best. Here was some kind of project they were going to use these for, and they up and abandoned everything. There's the boat back there. That would have been a nice boat. I think I drove one of those before, something similar. Talk about a waste, too. You know, when this house was freshly abandoned, all this stuff would have been incredibly valuable. Now it's all obsolete, worth nothing. Ah. Uh, you know, I was hoping there'd be more stuff in here. We got a lawnmower. Um, just some extra window frames for their house, probably. Maybe they had, it looks like they had a construction company. Which is cool. The Indians that lived here were more, more uh, rural people, which is cool. That's the life I like to live. Really fascinating to me. I want to go look at these cars again. So Silent Hills Exploration says there's a possibility there's a car back here, which since it's a rural kind of house, I would believe might be true. So there's maybe there's something interesting that other explorers have looked past back here in the horse stables. So we're gonna take a look. There's like uh, something for groundwater. Oh, there is something there. Where? Right over there, you see wheels? Oh yeah. I don't know what that is, but maybe What's a trailer or a truck. I think a trailer. Good eye, dude. This looks like farm equipment. It's a John Deere. Uh, some sort of Rotary tiller or something. That's cool. It's really been sitting. The wheels are alright. Back over there I see a big pile of scrap metal. I'm curious on what kind of artifacts could be back here. Looks like to me some barrels and 
Uh, maybe some sort of fireplace. Yup, that's exactly what it is. So we're back at the cars, just looking at everything. That looks better. And they still got the plates off too, or on, you know. It's not like a family member even checked up on this place. Just went straight up went abandoned one day. All the little knobs and controllers are so cool. Oh yeah. For the, the windows, I think these are, that's so sick. Yeah, for the time, that was something. That's real old. Dude, I think this was the van's last load right here. They must have had some kind of a uh, construction company. This is the, the toilet looks brand new. I, tr I, I think this is like, wow. Might have had this stuff. He says there's an ID. See all the way over there? Right next to the water and milk jug, there's like a the holder for it, you know? No. Plastic case, right next to the... Oh, yeah. Well, you can just open it. It doesn't open, that's the thing. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's disappointing. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool though. Old cup. Tim Hortons. 20 GMC Envoy. Some old stuff. Tim Hortons I've learned is uh, like the Dunkin Donuts of Canada. Well, anyways, guys, I think that's going to do it for today's video. This might have been one of my favorite houses this entire Canada trip, and we didn't even know it was here until now. So I'm so happy that we got to check this out. I mean, when do you see a place like this, you know, completely frozen in time like this? It's very rare, and I'm, I'm so happy nobody's really disturbed it. It's all just natural decay for the most part, um, although I wish we got here sooner. But I, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, guys. This this was such a crazy trip and probably one of our last explores. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you take it easy. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Give me a sub, and uh, that's all. Peace.